Hello? What's up, Cooters? Bro, BS Code just got a crazy upgrade. GitHub Copilot now has as in mood. That means your AI can now read your files, write your code, run terminal comments, and literally build your app for you. And guess what? It's free! Is this the end of cursor? Stay till the end. We are testing it, I'm breaking it, and seeing if Copilot as in mood can really replace cursor. What do you think? What is the Copilot as in mood? Okay, let's slow it down for a second. Now question is, what is the as in mood inside Copilot? For example, in here, you type in natural language request. Uh, for example, you say this like, hey bro, add a number add a footer, add a sidebar, or make a full project, okay, or change the theme colors, or whatever you want. So, uh, at this time, your copilot will understand full project file and folder. Okay, that means your copilot can read your file and folder, edit your file, and run comments, and even it shows the list of changing before applying them. It's like having a junior developer sitting inside BS Code for doing work for you. So now question is how can I active as a mode in my BS Code? So as a beginning time, you have to download the Visual Studio Code. So uh, first of all, visit uh, like you know Visual Studio Code. And then after that, uh, download by your operating system like Mac, uh, Linux, and Windows. So after download and install, then open your Visual Studio Code. So and then actually you will see top right corner this icon. So when you click on that, so this time you will see as a beginning times uh, these options. For example, like as a beginning time, you have to sign up with your github repository so as the beginning times so or if you actually log in so after login then uh, you know just uh, you want actually active you will see this option this you know uh, copilot option for example like if i click on that i will see ask edit and as in mood so if you are not see this as in mood in your bs code copilot so these times uh, you have to enable it so how can you enable this as in options or as in mood so then you want actually go in your bs code sitting options click on sitting option and after that uh, you know you want to write in as in agent so after write in agent see so this time you will see this option then actually if you see this there is the un uh, uncheck then you want actually check this option but but question is like lots of people will never see this option so if you are not see this option so then maybe uh, like your bs code are kind of older version you have to see your uh, bs code version first for example i go in help and then i go in about section let's look at this uh, my version is 1.101 above so like make sure your version will be 1.101 or above version and after that like then you can actually uh, you know see this uh, option so if you are actually using older version then actually you can uh, update it like you know check the jack for update then actually you can automatically update your bs code so and then you can see this uh, like you know uh, as an option in your copilot okay now we are properly uh, active our agent mood uh, you know inside copilot and bs code so we will see uh, you know how much a good uh, agent mood in like a working agent mood uh, in our copilot or bs code so for that so we are for like you know check for testing purpose for checking purpose like i install fresh next year's project inside my bs code and then after that i actually giving the run common and then i will s i see this uh, you know interface so why i see this interface just because of uh, you know, I'm not installed Talon CSS uh, in my project. Okay, that's the reason uh, the style are not working properly. So, 
yeah for testing purpose i will write a one comment like uh, you know uh, install a talent css for this project and uh, but uh, before giving the inter uh, so this time you wanna check like you will select the add in option and yeah i'm click on that so let's see uh what they are doing first okay they actually giving this uh, command in my uh, terminal like you know the npm install talent css post css auto prefixer uh, but they actually say uh, give the permissions for install it in our project but unfortunately i will not give this uh, permissions uh you know why just because of like this is the older versions i'm uh, you know cancel it so how can i understand this is the older versions of talent css so let's check the you know present uh version of talent css this present version is the 3.1 version and if i see this uh install talent css and pm like you know this is the actually present uh the command for install the latest version like you know talent css uh, the talent css slash post css and post css but if i see this like you know they actually give us the different command and uh you know that's the reason we are cancel it right and uh okay so if you actually see uh, how much older uh, the you know bs code copilot as in motor providers let's let's check the 3.4 and after that uh, we will see it uh, you know they actually provide us a kind of 3.4 versions uh, this is a kind of a little bit older the providers but question is so if they actually uh the as in uh copilot are actually provide us the uh, older version so how can we work right so maybe there is a kind of one years older so how can i work with a recent uh you know recent information the recent update right so this is the biggest problem right i know that so uh, let's see how much older that is you know if i actually check the cloud 3.5 cutoff date and look at this like you know uh, they actually last time out uh, you know it stopped their update like a uh, cloud 3.5 so on it is uh, april uh, 2024 this is more than one year ago they stopped their update right now so that's the reason actually we are not uh, getting this latest version but wet wet pro you don't want to worry about that we also can uh, use the lattice information lattice uh you know uh, lattice information so everything's uh, in our co-pilot uh it, this is easily so what should we want to do that for uh use the lattice uh, information in our co-pilot just uh, we wanna uh copy we are actually first uh, first of all i will you know write the same comment like you know install talent css then uh, i want actually uh, you know write the uh, kind of ha hash options so and then i will choose like a fetch and then i will copy the latest version documentations uh, the link then copy it and then i will paste it in here so after that uh so you know uh after that i will uh, and i write it follow this uh, instruction exactly and then i will you know i will give the inter okay they actually uh, github uh, copilot working on that so this is uh, like you know uh, uh we should i want to fetch uh, information from this page a uh, uh, website i said this yes bro you can do it don't worry and then they try to fetch it and look at this right now let's see this you know they actually t taking the right comment in right now so you know uh, i actually uh, provide the latest version documentation link then he can properly uh, collect the real information this is not much complex this is so easy right and then i actually give this a uh, continue version uh, button and they are right now install okay mm -hmm. install uh, they try to install the talent css in our project okay 
cool they are working on that so uh, right now actually they, they say there's like you know uh, run comments for uh, you know the, the development server so yeah you can do it npm run dab okay okay there's still the creating the uh, talent configurations uh, yep this file working on that bro this is a kind of this is super awesome right I love it I'm a personal feel that I'm also working on uh, you know uh, cast uh, or another file right the, the, the set is uh, talent CSS has been installed and configured for you next year's project so yeah they said it's like you know bro I uh, you know change this kind of thing so yep okay so uh, if I actually go the lattice okay let's see you know look at this so if actually uh, you know so right now we can see some changes uh, the recent uh, options just because of like you know the recent interface just because of the actually uh, added recent talent CSS right that's the reason uh, so yeah this is the not much more harder this is a kind of in you know, easy to uh, use the recent information data uh, in our projects and another interesting things is like we are see uh, what kind of changes they actually change in our project so if you feel that uh, something wrong they actually do the something wrong in our project uh, something changing wrong so this time you can actually uh, keep and undo so this you have this you have actually this kind of freedom bro so yep this is a kill bro so next interesting uh, tools I will show you that is that you can also add your own API key in your copilot so like how that is you know you want actually click click on that so after that you will see uh, you know already copilot are actually as and uh, you are actually see the clouds on it and GPT and GPT 4 and then you will see two option like add premium models that is uh, if you actually want to add the premium model so this time you actually select that but you know also like a managed model so if you want to actually add some uh, your own API keys uh, models uh, that you know you can choose that for free for example I chose it and then I'll choose I, I want actually uh, add the Gmini 2.5 so yeah pro model so this time so that's the reason i choose the gmini and after that i want to actually they said as a bro give the api key so i will go in uh, you know ai studio google.coms and get api key i will click on that and after that uh, you know if you actually uh, create api key to your api key will be automatically created uh, but i already create my api key so that's the reason i copy from here okay and then after that i will paste in in here and then after that i will enter so they will show some uh, models which model i want to actually choose it so i will okay gmini i will actually choose uh, like you know gmini 2.5 of a uh, pro preview and then okay so now uh, you are see i can actually successfully add my own api key in here so you can also you know if you want to add more so this time you can also uh choose another actually uh you know provider so yeah this is a so awesome so easily you can select uh, your own api key you can add in here okay now we are actually successfully active as in mood and successfully we are installed the talent CSS, and also we know how can we add like you know uh, api key in here so so now we will uh, create our own project so yeah that would be kind of like first of all like you know that would be kind of simple to do applications right so for the 2d applications so what should i want to do that as a beginning times uh that is actually i build first uh, the requirement a uh, project requirement so i built with like you know chat gpt i giving uh, you know i uh, said that hey chat gpt make uh you know to do application project requirement and chat gpt actually make it and then i copy from chat, chat gpt so yep and uh, i will actually build my to do application from this uh, project requirement 
and that's the region I drag in here now add uh, context and code base and then after that I will actually uh, you know uh, write the prompt like please build the application as defined in the project requirements so okay project requirements documents and thank you so let's see and then I giving the enter and uh, I personally hopeful they will make it in properly sorry you are request fail please try again uh, okay uh, I, I want to actually select the model I'll choose the uh, you know GPT-4 and then uh, try again I say it have a yep cool he said this like you know you have accessed your premium request allowing us okay right now they are working based on your requirements i will create a professional clean and responsive to-do list a web app using only html css and vanilla javascript so cool bro so they are right now creating this project so yeah i'm waiting for that let's see how much time so that uh, he taking for build it okay <laughs> so yep i'm waiting for that so how much times bro totally working on that project uh, file and folder okay right now you know look at this uh, created index.html file in here and created a uh, style.css also okay so uh, you know he said this uh, okay right now we are created a uh, app.js uh, and uh, the to do list uh, web app has been created according to your requirements so yeah so now uh, he said this now i can actually check it okay uh let's check uh you know uh open with live server oh cool look at this so uh right now he create uh, to do all these applications as I mentioned in my project requirement so okay tax titles he said this uh, as a beginning time uh, I want to give the tax title so for example like you know uh, showing this uh, two options like you know text title descriptions and add a task all active complete and tax list so as a beginning time if I say this uh, learn react yes and uh, in three months okay and uh, at task oh cool I can uh, this is the working uh, successfully and properly uh, this is the working properly bro so after that if I actually uh, you know add another things like JavaScript and uh, you know one month or 12 months and I add task and uh, queue and then I can also you know I'll check and I'm checking here so that's cool so if I actually check it and uh, yeah let's try to actually uh, uncheck it and then I can try to actually edit this file and I will write full JavaScript JavaScript okay uh, yeah there will be two on uh, 21 okay no problem that's cool bro and you know look at this I can uh, if I click on uh, okay active or if I uh, cut in that like you know just only working uh, just to uh, see the active so and then complete and all this is a fantastic so yeah that is the properly work and then just this is really interesting i uh, giving the one simple prompt and uh, github uh, copilot as in mood are create uh in uh like you know in uh one minute or you know two minutes that's awesome things right so let's see another things i will see uh uh is he can properly uh, add the uh you know local local storage click on that bro look at this he can probably also uh, add uh, the local stories so there's also awesome things right fantastic bro. <laughs> uh, that was the copilot as in mood and i already tested break it and build the you know project uh the front of you already see it right so that is that was a really uh awesome feature you can test it bro so by the way if you like this video you can like comment and subscribe bye bye